Oh, oh, don't go after my horse, you dick. Oh my god, what is wrong with you? What kind of person attacks a horse just like that? You, de you really deserve to die, jeez. You saw me, you decided, nah, fuck you, I'm killing your horse. God, my dog's going crazy. Bitch. That was fucked, dude. Sorry, horse. Well, today, today we're going to do a quick video. I know I've done a lot of work on my block. Today, I am I know there's two Oblivion Gates over here. There's one to the south and there's one, you know, right there. Uh, so I'm going to close those two Oblivion Gates in this video. But I think I'm just going to run through them. I think when I get to the outside of the gates, I'll probably do some block there to kill those opponents. But I am in no real mood to... Do even more blocking, at least for one exploration video. Uh, so we'll 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 um, you know sacrifice some training. I think we'll be okay in the long run. And here is that other gate. We will, however, work on our restoration. Maybe we can get that to 100. Probably not. It is at one. Uh, sorry, it is at 99, which is kind of nice. Our vampirism is also at 100. So yeah, hopefully when we come out of the gate, it won't be the middle of the night. It, or the middle of the day, but it probably will be, but whatever. Uh, yeah, Oblivion Gates, here we go, the joy. Uh... Ooh, okay, quick eight, quick eight. Quick eye. Uh, the entrance is over here, right? Yeah, it says put it out. Okay, we'll have to waltz our way up. Really? I'm taking damage from that? That's dumb. Okay. Just fucking sprinting. God, our character is so fast. Is our athletics boosted? I think our athletics gets boosted by the, uh... Yeah, okay, it is up 10. Okay, that makes sense. I was gonna say. No way that's not boosted from being a vampire or, or something that I have on. So we move fast as hell. Alright, jump over. I'm realizing that I probably shouldn't have done that because there's a bunch of stuff up there that I could easily loot, but whatever. Whatever, whatever. Um, going up, going up, going up, going up is this way. Okay. Alright, that's fine. Okay. Ah, oh, spiders. They don't really matter. Ow. I actually only got hit by one. Okay, not bad. 73 gold. Gotta get a little something while I'm there, you know? Just a little baby son. Alright. Go let. Oh, jeez, come on me. Learn to walk, learn to walk. Hey, buddy. Oh, you just feel like you just came out of freaking nowhere. Oh my god. There we go. I'm already at the top. I think the only thing that's done any damage. Are you right there? Jeez, what are you doing? Oh, I think he probably followed me through the gate. I think the only thing that's done any damage to me has been that one, like, spike trap thingy that really just kind of bugged. Ooh, okay. Damn that guy. For some reason, I really just don't know how to walk. Punished. Uh, not much good there. Okay. Oh, another gate down. Yeet. Skirt. We're making record pace here. Where is everybody? Daedroth? Who's out here? Is it just a Daedroth? One Daedroth? Come on, bud, hit me. Hit me! Oh, look at that. That's kind of cool. Can't tell if I like that view or I hate that view. <laughs> I think it would have been cool when, I, when the gate was still open. Kinda. I don't know. A little bit. Alright, bud. Let's get this over with. Let's get this over with! Just the tiniest little bit of practice. Instead of an entire gate worth. I would say you're welcome. And there's so, there's been there's just been way too many gates over here. I mean we had we already closed four in this little area today, and then there's two more that we're running into just in, you know, in this video. 
Oh, there's another Daedroth over there. Ah, uh, fuck you. <laughs> Y'all just dying. Y'all dying today. We going rapid fire. Ooh. Yeah, like, why would I ever block? <laughs> why would I want to block in the first place? Oh, there's another spider? Damn, I didn't even see all y'all. Did you guys not realize the gate was closed? Spider, you could have gone on to live the rest of your life. I wouldn't have ever thought twice. No, sir. Okay. Cool what time is it? Ooh, 5.47. We gotta hurry up. Okay, now we go north. That's gonna do some damage. Now we go north to that other gate. Ah, it's friggin'. F off, lady. What time do I start taking damage at? That's the real question in here. Oh, really? I couldn't, couldn't fight my way through that? Okay. Easy piece. Easy piece. Yeah, I'm not sure what time I start taking it. Uh, it's probably worth it to... Yeah, we should probably just jump in this... Jump in here again and wait again. It's, it's, it's annoying. No doubt it is annoying, but... Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. The life of a vampire. How are you doing? Hey, how are you doing? You are not doing so hot, huh? You doing a little bit? Ooh! <laughs> oh, I forgot that's how that works. Okay, I guess I start taking damage somewhere in that time frame. Okay. So that's the annoying part about waiting. You know, actually, I want to test one more thing. If I were to just wait out here for... I was going to see if I could wait until... Just, like, wait the whole day out. You know, wait until it's night again. But now nah, they, they do count that. Okay. Good to know. Oh, I am actually already taking damage. Oh, but it does let me wait. Weird. I actually did not realize you could... Uh, wait and while taking damage. I wonder if you could fast travel while taking damage. Because would that kill me? I feel like that wouldn't. Things to consider. Alright, this is... Yeah, this is nighttime enough. Okay. Well, let's go close this one now. Doing the world even more favors. This Oblivion Gate looks very, very epic. I don't know why. I also, ugh. Yeah, definitely not blocking my way through this. I just want to check. How many gates am I at? Ooh, Infamy's almost at 10. Oblivion Gate shot 77. This will be our 78th. Crazy! Fleshy pod. Sub. Just kind of walk on by. Keep on walking. Don't look back. Just don't look back. Nothing to be afraid of. Hello. Whole lot of cheese. Okay, you came through that really quickly. A lot of zivilies on our ass. Excuse me, excuse me. Why is everyone in here a Ziv lie? <laughs> Give me something that is not a Ziv. Ooh, fall down already. That's gonna lead into lava. Okay, there we go. I got something different at least. Gotta keep on healing. Keep on walking down the tower. Gotta walk down the cave in order to get up, <laughs> up, the, up the mountain. It all makes sense if you don't think about it. They really do have a lot of uh, fleshy pods in here to, to snatch. Hello. Oh, come on. Okay. Yeah, somehow that brought me up the tower. I, be I went a lot more down than I did up in there, but somehow that brings you up. Don't ask about it. Oh, oh, come on, come on. Okay, cave number two. What's up, fam? 
Going up. Alright, this this one we're actually going up up. Uh that's not a thing. Okay. Oh jeez. Oh my god. Okay. Jeez. Just sprinting by everything. Pretending as if it never existed. Oh oh gee oh my god, what the fuck? Why that one rock go so far over? Take drop, bunch of people, ay ay. Oh, it's only like 99 and a third. Destruction is, I mean, uh, restoration has barely moved during all this. At least our restoration is our very last uh, magic skill that we have to get. Because then I can stop casting this damn spell over and over. Sometime, I don't know when exactly, but sometime kind of this soon we'll reach the point where we finally, finally can just, the only thing we have to level is athletics. And the way you level athletics is to just keep on moving. We have been training, the one skill we have been training the entire time that we have played this game will be the last skill that we ever get to our journey. The fastest way to level is actually by swimming, but I uh, don't have, I don't see much of a purpose in swimming. And I'm definitely not going to waste my time just swimming around so I can level that up. That is not content that I think anybody, anybody needs to witness. Not even my viewers. <laughs> don't interpret that any, don't, don't, don't think about that one. Um, okay, Summon Storm Atronach Tome, okay, ooh, I actually like that, that's solid, I didn't realize I didn't have that, uh, S, 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 sweet, Summon Storm Atronach for 40 seconds, cool, good to have, good to have, alright, I'll go down here, <laughs> that just immediately took me out, alright, Oh yeah, I saw a couple of you up here, I know that. Get the big guy out. Eh, Storm Edge Knock's technically a little bit bigger, but... I kind of wonder if they'll ever bring back some of these enemies, you know? All of these Oblivion, all these enemies from Oblivion. The Zivile, which I think is actually like Malakaths. Um, I think we read that book, right? I think one of the books that we read said that the Zivile is actually like Malakath's creation. Which makes sense. But I wonder if we'll ever see the Zivile, the, the Spider Daedra, all of those in future Oblivion games. Because obviously they, they've kept the spiders, they, they had the Frostbite spiders in Skyrim. Um, but most of these, obviously, like the Atronachs, they're all still the same. Um, but yeah, a, a good amount of the. Danger enemies went away, which is kind of good. I mean, you gotta vary it up a little bit, but I feel like they they, they could be nice and in, in smaller doses. Oh, I am actually taking heavy, hell of damage. Am I? Is it? The, am I taking sun damage? No, it's it's not even midnight. Not sure what's happening there. Maybe a, uh, maybe I am just taking regular old damage. My weak boy. Nah, I feel like I'm definitely taking some sort of damage. This doesn't make sense. Let's see. I feel like, I don't know, I can't tell if it's my imagination. 187. You can't go that way. Oh, jeez, we're like right up against the wall. Huh? Was that Black Marsh? Oh, cool. Uh, so, so looking forward to when I'm 70 years old and Elder Scrolls Black Marsh finally releases. That'll be the day. That'll be the day. Yeah, I am swinging and it is doing damage to myself. What? What vampire thing is that? That has to be a vampire thing. Weakness to fire? No, because I resist all fires. So that shouldn't really matter. Sun damage. 
These are all fortify. Resist, resist. Yeah, not sure what's happening there. Oh, I love that you also get the Embrace of Shadows. You get that. Yeah, I am literally just doing damage to myself by doing that. I really don't understand why that's happening. It's gotta be something with me being a vampire, though. Unless if he has some sort of reflex something, uh, reflect normal weapons? That's kind of a crazy thing to, to imagine. Okay, not really sure what's happening there. That's very strange. And uh, no, I think we might be approaching the time where it's just about time to, you know, swap to cure this vampirism, because it's starting to, starting to reach the point where it's pissing me off. So I think... I, I don't want to do the Cure for Vampirism quest, because that quest is very annoying, but I think I will do it in the next quest, actually. And then the quest after, I'll do that, the the uh, Dark Brotherhood quest, which is definitely without, beyond a shadow of a doubt, a top five quest in this game. Could be number one. I feel like the finale for the Thieves Guild is my number one. But as far as, like, a smaller quest... So Thieves Guild 1 is really... It's my number one, mostly because of how grandiose it is. Obviously, this is for people who have actually played the game and not people simply watching this playthrough. But I feel like that's why that's my number one. But this quest, if, if you have it as your number one quest, I, I fully, fully support you. I, I could have it as number two. I am also thinking of, like... Um, the Shadow over Hector as an as another like top three, top five kind of quest. There's some others I'm sure I can't that I'm just not thinking of right now. But anyway, um, now we gotta go read our book by the fire, which is definitely what a vampire wants to do. <laughs> uh, let's go to the west gate. And okay, yeah, it is day. I think at certain times in the day, because what is it right now? This is, yeah, it's like very early morning. So I think at certain times of the day, you take more damage than at other times. But I think you're like maxed out at taking eight damage. Depending on the time. Depending on the time. But not when we are cozying up by the fire. Oh, rest up a little bit. Sitting down, cozying up by the fire. Today we get to read some more racist opinions by that lady that we uh, read about before. The lady who wrote all the guides to all the different places. Last time it was Anvil where she expressed some anti-Argonian beliefs, I think it was. And also some very, very, um, like, fuck the poor vibes. Um, but today we're, we're a guide to Berville. Let's see. Eleven pages, okay. Yeah, Berville has a lot of poor people, I'm pretty sure. So this ought to be a trip. I feel like the one for Leowin is probably going to be the worst. Leowin, because Leowin has Argonians and Khajiit. Shadenol has, has the Dark Elves. That's going to be a tough one. Bruma, maybe with the Nords, but I don't think she's going to hate Nords that much. Maybe a little bit. Uh, probably not. I don't think so, actually. Um, and then Shadenhall, she'll probably say something about the Orcs as well. We'll see. We'll see. Alessia Otis's Guide to Breville. Mara, Mother Mild, make us hale and hearty. Wow, rock me alliteration. My name is Alessia Otis, and I'd like to tell you all about Breville. Breville is the dark grate of the sewer drain where foul and unappetizing debris collects. Wow, what a, what an intro. Imagine being in Breville and reading this. Ugh. <laughs> it is the poorest and dirtiest of Cyrodiil's towns, the oldest and shabbiest, the most plagued by criminals, drunkards, and skooma eaters. Drinkers, that you don't eat skooma, lady, come on. And most popular with beast folk and other foreigners, oh god. All Breville lacks is a coven of Daedra worshippers to make it the perfect pit of villainy. And many rumors suggest that even more evil and depraved worships are practiced in secrets, in secret by Breville's wicked heathens. 
wow, this lady really, really hates this place. Nothing to be surprised about. This town is gray, grim, and depressing. No, yeah, she's not wrong about that. <laughs> it's a nice river, though. I think it's a kind of nice river that flows through, but it is kind of depressing. The climate is damp and the atmosphere foul because of the, f the fetid chan fetid? Huh. channels of the Lars... Larsius River that serve as Breville's sewers, and because of the rank swamps of the lowland margins of the Nibbon Bay, where insects and diseases breed in abundance. Sounds a lot like Riften, to be honest. <laughs> Riften is the upgraded, the upgraded version of, uh, of Breville. More in a interest way, you know, there's a lot more going on in Riften. Than in Breville, but they're both kind of shitholes. In in a sense, in a sense. The architecture of the town is remarkable for its unequaled ugliness and disorder. <laughs> what? The houses, shops, and guilds are built from cracked and splintered timber, soft from rot and green with mold and mildew. It is a pit that they do not fall down. No, sorry, it is a pity that they do not fall down, for they might be rebuilt in a more pleasing manner. But rather, they continue to grow on top of one another, like molded middens reaching lofty heights of three and four stories. Yeah, so I think some of them are actually yeah, for like the the inns and whatnot. Beggars and thieves lounge indolently on balconies overhanging the streets and dump their refuse directly upon the unfortunate passers-by. Oh, you just know one of the skoomer the skoomer eaters on that top floor over there that we that we've seen in the past. She, like just straight up took a shit on her. Whole families live in teeter teetering shacks on the tops of the buildings in unimaginable squalor. Another thing is, like with these buildings, obviously they're kind of like on the brink of ruin. A lot of them are also on the river there, so if they do fall, like my house, for example, if it does fall, it's going in the river, which is not exactly ideal. Breville's people are dirty and dishonest. They live little better than goblins in caves, squatting in filthy tumble-down shacks. The town citizens are divided into two classes. The smugglers, skooma eaters, bandits, thieves, and murderers. And the wretched beggars and fools that these criminals prey upon. My god. Breville is ruled by crime lords, and the town guard lives in the pockets of the skooma kingpins. You will not be surprised to find that there are many Argonians and Khajiit in this miserable place, since elsewhere in Black Marsh are close by, but you may be surprised to find many orcs here. To find many orcs here? Really? I feel like there aren't really... Eh, maybe there are. However, beast folk are comfortable in the company of other beast folk, as are thieves and brutes naturally drawn to the company of one another. God, all the racism. All the racism thrown into a book and publish it. I love it. <laughs> Breville is not organized into orderly districts. However, some landmarks may serve to orient the unfortunate visitor. The castle is approached by rickety bridges over the river to the east. The chapel is to the west. She always loves the chapel. The shops and guilds are arranged in a line with their backs to the east wall and the channels of the river. Between the chapel and the shops and guilds are Breville's ramshackle slums and tenements, just to remind you. The castle is the only sturdy, stone-built dwelling in Breville. It is nowhere as dirty and ill-furnished as the timber shacks of the people, but it is still little better than the houses of the poorest paupers in Anvil or the Imperial City. Count Regulus Terentius, from a respectable family, once a noted tournament champion, is now widely recognized by his people as a drunken wastrel in Ne'er Ne'er Do. Why can't you just say Never Do Well? Never Do Well. And his son, Gellius Terentius, is a is a strutting peacock who cultivates the society of crime lords and skooma eaters. The chapel stonework is in poor repair and, re and covered with mold and mildew. The graveyard is surrounded by a ramshackle, unpainted wooden fence, oh gods, and the graves are untidy and neglected. The primate is a good servant of Mara, but she is unequal to the task of driving sin and wickedness from this nine, nine forsaken town. 
the priestess is wise and well-liked by those few who visit the chapel, but most people never pass once through the chapel's doors except to beg and steal. The inns are a disgrace. It is common to step over prostrate drunks and through pools of sick upon entering, and idlers, gamblers, and pickpockets swarm in the darkness and prey upon unwary travelers. A visitor foolish enough to sleep in these places should expect to be murdered in his sleep or in his bed. Jeez. Oh my god. Lady, were you murdered there? Like, what did you do in your time there? Just watch from a distance and judged absolutely everybody? God. The guilds, by contrast, are relatively clean, dry, and quiet, and one forced by necess- by necess- blah, 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 blah. The guilds are by con- the got- blah. The guilds, by contrast, are relatively clean, dry, and quiet, and one forced by necessity to spend a night in Breville might be justified in joining the Fighters Guild or the Mages Guild, despite their savage and godless ways, simply to be assured of a safe place to sleep. What did they ever do? What? Oh my god. The shops are no worse than any other feature of Breville, and you may be more safe in them from assault or murder on account of the prodigious, uh, pr- pr- oh my god, I should know that word, but whatever, provisions merchants must take to protect themselves from thieves. If you are forced by circumstances to visit Breville, you will very soon wish to leave, and you will wish to watch your back as you leave to be sure you are not followed by parades of bandits and assassins honor the nine in prayer wow what a what a beautiful guide you know i feel like the first couple times i played these games i always thought like the guides were just going to be like oh yeah it's kind of like when you ask a guard for directions and they're just like here you can find this in this way you can find the guild there's a place to sleep over here i thought they would just be like that but it makes for a lot more interesting of a read. I, I could definitely say that. Uh, really messed up that this lady uh, wrote all these books in the first place, but whatever, we're not going to question it. It's At least they're only worth one gold, you know? And yeah, we still got a lot more guides to go. We got Bruma, Shade and All Coral, Leo and Skingrad, Imperial City. Is that all of them? Anvil, Skingrad... Coral, Bruma, Shaden Hall, Imperial City, Leowin, and uh, Bruma. Okay, Aaron Breville. Yeah, okay, so we got those all. Well, another, another terrible, terrible, terrible book. But uh, yeah, that's that's gonna do it for for this video. I really wanna. I think once I finish reading all these books, I'm gonna have to go hunt down this Alessia Atas, because god damn. God damn. What if I wait an hour? Do I get, am I going to get another terrible dream? No? Okay, fair enough. Well, that's going to do it for this video, so thank you for watching. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video, where we hopefully, hopefully I'll decide to actually cure my, my uh, vampirism, because it's starting to reach that point where it's annoying. Uh, I may actually hold on to it for now. We'll see. We'll see when we when the time comes. But anyway, until then, goodbye. Cause I don't wanna see the glow without you. Refuse to even leave my home without you. But my brain's gonna explode without you. I don't even know how to cope without you. Cause I don't wanna see the glow without you. Refuse to even leave my home without you. But my brain's gonna explode without you. I don't even know how to cope without you.